Alright. I'm out here because really I um I was just coming back from Norfolk and yesterday I saw this video. I know I'm probably late. But I'm I know I'm early at the same time. I saw this video where they was talking about BOB and shit. Uh well BOB uh was saying the slave ship's not real and then me, I already knew where he got uh I already knew where he got that uh that information. I'm like, yeah, he been watching some more uh, science videos or something. And then the little meme thing or whatever you call it. I don't know what they call it. Uh, I seen on Instagram that led me to the YouTube video. Uh, it was some more dudes, some uh, dudes from the MSTA, more science tip or whatever, put this video out. But uh, I'm from Virginia. So um, I, uh, I live in... Uh, where, where they call, um, I live in the port city. I'm from Newport News, Virginia, Hampton, Virginia. And uh, Hampton, Virginia is where where you learn and, and uh, in school, they, they, it was uh, James Town. I'm standing here at the plaque. Uh, first Africans in Virginia, and this is where they say the first uh, Africans were bought, right? So they say, uh, I seen B.O.B. say, man, he said it ain't no such thing as no slave ships because you've seen dinosaurs and, and, and you've never seen a slave ship. So I'm like, I know that's that bullshit. Uh, that, that not, not saying that all the Moors information is bullshit, but I'm just saying that's that, uh, that uh, Moors uh, science indoctrination that, um, that uh, I never seen a slave ship. Well, this is basically uh, what I wanted to um, prove because that's really like word semantics, that whole slave ship thing. Because slaves are kind of like people, like they workers or whatever, right? They uh, that's held captive. But these Africans that were brought over here, they weren't looked at as slaves. They were they weren't looked at as people. They was looked at as property, and here in Virginia if you notice he said he never seen a slave ship but I'm about to show you a slave ship right now because I'm from Virginia I'm gonna let you know and we have slave ships this is a port city and what it is is a cargo ship because what they were bringing over is property and as you see right there that's this right here right here that's that's a cargo ship you understand that right there that is a cargo ship that's what a slave ship is it was a cargo ship so because you because they don't call it a slave ship or because you say oh you've never seen a slave ship well i mean a bob from atlanta i you might because you ain't you don't live by no water so you might haven't never seen a slave ship before but god damn it this right here is what a slave ship really is well what it was then it's a cargo ship and right there i don't know if y'all can see it but it has containers and it's going right over there to the port, you know what I'm saying? This is Newport News, this is Norfolk, you know what I mean? These are ports, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all can't see it no more, I meant to damn do this shit earlier, but, cause the sun is over here popping, but yeah, this is a goddamn cargo ship going across the water right now, man, that's a slave ship. So when the people, when they was bringing them people over here, they weren't bringing people over here, they were bringing cargo. You feel what I'm saying? This was business. So when we look at slavery, I know we look at it from, the, from an emotional, uh, in an emotional light, but in all actuality, for them, uh, those goddamn savages that brought us over here, the invaders and shit, they they really were goddamn it. Uh, it was business to them, you know what I mean? So you gotta understand, they, they weren't bringing people over here, they weren't bringing families, they was bringing cargo, man. You know what I mean? That's just a mis a misunderstanding that you've never seen a slave ship. If you come to Newport, you come come see me in Virginia, I'll show you a slave ship. But anyway, so look, we got this right here. Hold me down right quick, nicest. Let me read this right quick. Can we get this right quick? All right. This is what they say. The first Africans in Virginia, right? First documented Africans in Virginia arrived here in 1619. On the white line, the English privateer based in the Netherlands. Uh, uh, the colony officials traded uh, traded food for these 20 odd Africans who had been captured from a Portuguese slave ship among the present day Hampton, uh, among, among present day Hampton's earliest Africans residents were Anthony and Isabella. Their son William was the first child of African ancestry known to have been born in Virginia 
uh, circa 1624, many of the earliest Africans had been held slaves, but some individuals became free in a legal framework of hereditary long life of slavery in Virginia. Evolved during the 1600s, the United States abolished slavery in 1865. Well, you know that's some bullshit information too, because really, the last uh, state that got uh, hit slavery was Mississippi in 13. And, uh, but yeah, if you go um, look at 2013, Mississippi really was the last uh, state to end slavery and shit, because they forgot to fill out the paperwork. And you know about the uh, 13th Amendment and all that type of shit. So, but anyways. Um, I was just here to uh, break up that information. True, it's it. See, the thing is, we got multiple truths. We, you know, it's like uh, you got a uh, relative truth and absolute truth, and a lot of that information that they spill and they give it half truths because they're giving it from one source. You know what I mean? It's like a science. It's like a science project or a science experiment. A hypothesis is an educated guess, but when you're doing an experiment. You can't, you can't, you can't tell me you read one book about something, and you get uh, one bit of information from one uh, place, and then say uh, that you were expert on the information. You got to have multiple sources. So, and I'm trying to explain, basically, in a nutshell, a slave ship was a cargo ship because all they was bringing over here was cargo. They weren't looking at them like they were bringing uh, people. So, you say you never seen a slave ship. That's that's a slave ship coming out and going in right now. You know what I mean? Cargo ships, you know what I mean? So, uh, were there Africans in Americas before? Hell yeah, we already know this. They, The Europeans told us that shit too. Like, that's all in the law. We already know that. We already know how they got over here. We already know we helped them get over here. We already know we've been here. But did they bring us here too? I feel like that that has got them damn near blasphemy to be like, oh, it, slave, slavery didn't have, it wasn't no slave ships. You tripping. But anyways, we gonna wrap this up. Um, I just got them and got back from Norfolk, got them and picking up my little new, my homeboy and shit. So uh, we're going to end this off right here, man. Uh, live for Planet Bad News. It's Mr. No Days Off. Follow me, Instagram, Arts Al Heyman, directed by Chip Stagging. Uh, you know, early bird, get the worm, last mouse, get the cheese, man. Shake the trees, rake the leaves, man.